Hello once again friends, it's good to be with you again. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, Faith comes from hearing. Faith comes from hearing. Let me start by asking you a question. Do you ever doubt yourself? We can doubt ourselves for many different reasons, can't we? We might lack confidence in our abilities. We might doubt our worth. We might think that we lack the strength to get through a crisis or the tough situation that we're facing. When we rely only on our own strength and skills, we'll often struggle. But when we lean on God's, we'll be able to face anything. When we rely only on other people's opinions to get our sense of worth, we'll end up being disappointed. But when we realise how much God loves us, we'll begin to see our true value in his eyes. The Bible says in Proverbs 28 verse 26, those who trust their own insight are foolish, but anyone who walks in wisdom is safe. And we can gain wisdom by filling our minds with God's word every day and finding hope and confidence in his promises and in his willingness to fulfill them. Psalm 118 verse 8 says, It's better to trust the Lord than to trust people. But what about times when we doubt God's word too? Well, despite being Jesus' disciple for almost three years and hearing his promise that he'd rise again from the dead, Thomas still said in John 20 verse 25, unless I can see his wounds and touch them, I will not believe. But of course, Jesus didn't turn his back on Thomas when he showed doubt. He never rejects a sincere doubting heart. Instead, he showed up in person and resolved all of Thomas's doubts. And as we read God's word and seek his face, he'll show up and soothe our doubts as well. And as our doubts fade, our faith grows. And we'll begin, as it says in 2 Corinthians 5 verse 7, to live by what we believe, not by what we can see. We will live by what we believe, not by what we can see. So why don't you, at the end of the day, have a think about any times during that day that you've doubted what God was telling you or that he'd come through for you. Have a chat with him about your doubts and ask him to help you to trust him even more. Let's pray. The special prayer for this week. Creator God, you made us all in your image. May we discern you in all that we see and serve you in all that we do. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let's say the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.